Bring it the back. Fine, yeah. talk like that. Yep, yeah. excellent. Um, okay, good evening everyone. Uh, my name's Matt. I'm the partnerships manager at Pump Aid. I've been at Pump Aid now for just over 18 months. I love working for them because the work they do is simple and effective. It makes a real tangible difference in people's lives. I take real pride in the fact that for every pound we raise, 90p is spent on delivering our work. And what I've also learned during my time here is that clean water isn't everything, but it does really make everything possible. Also with me tonight is Michael Tutor. I'm the Chief Executive of Pump Aid, and, and every trip to Africa leaves an indelible memory. Um, I've got used to children without shoes, and I've become desensitised to many of the sites of uh, abject poverty. But one image on a recent trip to Salima has absolutely stuck in my mind. And it was a three-year-old girl carrying a bucket of water. She was amongst a group of girls, all carrying water, and her bucket was of the seaside bucket and spade variety. And it was only half full, because I guess that's as much water as a three-year-old can carry. And it reminded me of my own grandson, who's also three and has just started play school. What a difference 5,000 miles makes. So Pump Aid is a UK-based NGO that has been working in the field of water and sanitation in sub-Saharan Africa for over 17 years, and our main programme is currently in Malawi. We bring clean, safe water to remote and rural communities, promote improved hygiene and safe sanitation practices, and inspire communities to achieve open defecation-free status. We also work in schools to improve nutrition, actively encourage the development of entrepreneurship, and promote private sector approaches to resolving water poverty. This is an open well, and it's where almost three million Malawians access their water. In terms of water quality, it has all the health and hygiene properties of a puddle. As you might expect, waterborne diseases are rife in Malawi, and diarrhoea, a disease which in this country you cure by a visit to Boots, kills 17 children each and every day. But of course, before you can drink your water, you have to fetch it. And fetching water in Malawi normally entails a very long walk. Water fetching is the responsibility mostly of women and girls, and it's the principal reason why so few girls complete their education. Fortunately, we have a solution, which is a really simple piece of technology known as the elephant pump, as you can see here. The elephant pump is ideal for remote and isolated communities, unlike other technologies which are too complex and too costly. <coughs> it's cheap to build, simple to install, and sits on top of a hand-dug shallow well. Unlike other pumps, the elephant pump is made from locally sourced materials, ensuring that when it does, or if it does break, the community can easily access spare parts and make the repairs themselves. Once completed, it can be operated by anyone, from small children to the elderly and even the infirm. Uh, we also uh, work with the community to construct the pump. As you can see here in this picture, Everyone in the village, or everyone in the picture, sorry, is a community volunteer except the man in blue. Uh, involving the community in the construction of the pump uh, gives them a sense of ownership, and because they've seen how the pump is built, they're in a much better position to fix it should it need uh, to be fixed. The community, as well as contributing labour, will also contribute materials such as bricks, you can just see in the bottom there. And in each community, we will also set up water point committees who manage the pump going forward. They also charge small user fees so that this money can then be spent on carrying out any repairs or maintenance training. Our simple technology, our use of local materials, and our upskilling of the local community means elephant pumps have a, a, an operating ratio of around 85%, as compared to 55%, which is more common with boreholes and uh, gravity-fed systems. It costs just £3,000 to build and install an elephant pump and to provide all the hygiene and maintenance training in a community of 120 needs. That's just £25 per person to provide improved health. And with that, children who will spend more time at school, adults who will have more time to work productively. It will improve nutrition, it improves food security, and it increases life expectancy because the young, the old and the infirm are less vulnerable to disease. So that means that a donation of £1,500 tonight can provide a community of 120 people with clean water. And the World Health Organisation estimates that for every £250 spent on water and sanitation, the community will receive at least £1,000 worth of benefits. So including the IFID match funding arrangement we have, 
if you could donate £250 tonight, or a £250 donation tonight, could provide at least £2,000 worth of benefits to a community, it's hard to imagine a better return on investment anywhere. UK Department for International Development is so convinced of the effectiveness of our operation that they have already pledged to fund the cost of 50% of the cost of every pump we install between now and 2016. So although £3,000 is the cost of a pump, all I'm actually asking is for 1500 In Pump Aid you have an organisation that is rooted in the community, that keeps its overheads to the absolute minimum, that maximises the money it spends on its beneficiaries and is committed to giving some of the most impoverished people in the world hope and the opportunity to work themselves out of poverty so that they no longer need to depend on international support at all. And I'd just like to finish by telling you about this lady called Macalata. Um, Macalata is a very special person because the pump that we built for her has completely changed her life. Um, not only has it vastly improved her health um, and that of her three children, it has allowed her to start a small business, baking bread and growing tomatoes for sale. Access to water has allowed her to become almost self-reliant and a newfound income pays for her two teenage daughters to attend secondary school in a country where less than 15% of girls complete their secondary education. £5,000 raised tonight will enable us to help 500 people like Makalata. Thank you for listening.